Ferdy in Michigan. I'd have to for dealer to fix scratch that I got in the grill so it doesn't touch a paint. My name is Mike Kovalchuk. For past decade, I've been in the automotive alternative fuel industry, specializing in compressed natural gas. An opportunity has come in my life to expand my talents. Follow me as I get into vehicle restoration and vehicle testing. Bam, there you go. Keyless start. Awesome option in the winter and summertime. But make sure you set up your your heat in the winter time and your AC in the summertime. So here's the Ford Corporate right there. This is the hotel that I usually stay in. It's a very convenient place to stay. You're right at Ford in Dearborn. Hotel has a big history behind it. If you look up the Hyatt in Dearborn, it's been renamed like five times after that, but do is touch up this scratch right here which no idea how it happened but it happened we use this touch up paint that is by a Ford right here village Ford let's see how it works out so we got still slightly see it but if you don't pay attention to it you really can't so let it dry out we'll see how it looks like Oakwood Boulevard Right off Michigan Avenue, this is the Welcome to Ford. We have a meeting today at 2, it's 1 o'clock. And I got the... Hello? Yeah, Mike? Yes. Yeah, Rob, how you doing? I am pretty good. <laughs> Good, good. Hey, uh, I just wanted to go over uh, how soon I could pick up the uh, the car and do the swap. Okay, I uh, I have a meeting at Ford in Building Two at two o'clock. So uh, okay. that should take probably about till three three thirty, and then I think uh, after that it should be ready to go. There's no reason why. Oh, okay. It should take longer than that. So not before three o'clock, though. Uh. I don't know if I'll be able to get out for three. I mean, I can try okay. to, but no, 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 that's fine. I'll, I'll just, uh, I'll just hang loose. I, I happen to be downtown right now, mm -hmm. and that's where the uh, Explorer is that I got. So um, um, I'll just hang loose and, and do me a favor. Call me direct when um, when uh, you guys are done, and then uh, and then I'll uh, head over there. Matter of fact, if you want to text me. It'll take me a good 20 minutes to get there anyway from uh, downtown. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so when you're, when you're 20 minutes away from uh, being ready to swap an hour or whatever, just give me a text and I'll, I'll make myself available. Okay, uh, will you be, okay. be able to meet me at in Dearborn? Is that where, where you can meet me? Yeah, 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 you just text me where you uh, where you, you want me to meet, whether it's over for racing or what, you know? Okay. Sounds yeah, good. Just let me know where, and I'll uh, I'll make sure I'm there. So, um, and then I talked with um, I talked with him about the tunnel cover. Yes. And I I told him uh, that you guys were going to send me some sketches of how that could look. He he seems to be fine with either soft or hard. It doesn't seem to matter him one way or the other. Okay. You know. So when you when you talk with Ed, I know Ed was concerned from a production vehicle standpoint how that thing could look. Mm -hmm. um, just let him know that, that Jerry's receptive either way. Okay, so, I will. Okay. Sure. All right. Okay, okay thanks. Good call. All right. Uh, thank you so much. See you soon. Bye-bye. Meeting time, like we always do early. And we're going to meet in the Research and Engineering Center, Building 2, Ford Motor Company. So let's see what kind of doors open up here. You gotta bless this meeting. And we'll see. Here's the Research and Engineering Vehicle Service Center. Wow. This is all Ford here. This trip is all Ford. All these research development buildings. I've been to most of them. I've been to that area. I've been to this building. And we're gonna meet in building two. Building two is gonna be, yeah, this is a racetrack here. Uh, you can't see, but you can see up there a little bit. It's a racetrack. That's all the vehicles. Building two is up for Tanda Drive, so that building two is gonna be. Oh, I'll second, let's see where it's at. This is it right here. This is building two. This is where our meeting is gonna be. Let's actually pull in there. 
That's where I'll be doing a demonstration. Out of the meeting. It went well. It went really well, actually. So I'm out of here. I couldn't, I couldn't really, I couldn't take my camera inside. I was in the building meeting with the guys, software guys, software engineers that will be working on the software, developing the natural gas injected side of this whole vehicle. So it's very awesome. It went good. Praise God. Back to right now, uh, going back to Ado to Edwards Hotel to meet up with Robozinski. We're gonna do a vehicle exchange. Explorer, we have uh, given uh, gave the truck back to the original owner, and we're heading out to Roush to meet up with Mr. Warner and check on our vehicle testing in APN Laboratory or Roush Laboratory. So we're going to Livonia. It's 3:42 and traffic already started. And hopefully, we'll be able to get through this quick. We're now in Livonia, pulling up to. Roush Industries. This area, this is Levan Road. This is where all the Roush buildings are at, and where I used to do my calibrating back in 2009, 2010. I used to do this drive cycles through here. There's a lot of memories here. A lot of memories. This is RF215 here. Which is getting ready for uh, prep tonight and testing tomorrow. This is the testing board, and Mr. Warner is putting us on schedule. This is a 2017 F-250 6.2 bi-fuel. This is the car we'll be prepping tonight, and we'll run a uh, emission test tomorrow. It's a sample test. We get to get this on footage as we're going to run it tomorrow morning, so this is going to be great. I think they're going to prep it tonight on the north cell. This is the north cell right here. And they're going to prep it here. And this is where the CNG cylinder is. It's a cool truck. Right now, Mr. Warner is bringing in his X3 BMW. We're going to be coming to a replacing the part. And uh, we'll be helping him out with it. So we're going to do it on this lift here right here. All right, Mr. Warner. You got my outfit on. Is this yours? Yep. Check it out. I'm gonna take my shirt Damn. off. <laughs> take your shirt off now. Let me turn the camera off. <laughs> so this is the car we're working on, yeah? 2.5? It's a nice car. So we're gonna take off the Syntec manifold, replace the this side. It's the Syntec manifold flat. So the airbox needs to come off. And we're gonna take this, like I said, and take manifold off. We'll go step by step to get it off. I forgot to film uh, the bolt removing part, but it's okay. The removal part? Yeah, removal part. Well, the box is removed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm not good at how to do things. I guess. <laughs> Valve. I gotta, I gotta remove this. This is the secret valve. It's inside here. It's only hold on by two screws. All right. So you 
loosen it up and just take it out with your hands, yeah? Yep. Awesome. So you, you have taken this apart before, yeah? Yeah, two other times. <laughs> one, one time to pull the match set out, <laughs> uh -huh. to make sure it was bad, uh -huh. it was. Uh -huh. The other time, to put the new parts in, which were the wrong parts. So now you got the right parts? Yeah. So how long, how long does this project usually take? The first one took like an hour to get all this shit off. Uh-huh. But you don't even need to take off. Uh-huh. So now we, we can come back with a video saying how to do it properly. <laughs> by Tim Warner. <laughs> how to do it by saving time. <laughs> I just don't want to drop these two screws. So <laughs> Let's take this off. See, I can't even get to that. All right, hold this for so, you. Hold this down. Okay. Let's put this down out of the way. Let's yes. tuck this. Let's do this. Let me hold it. this. I tuck this in here so the bolt falls on this. I see. So we don't use the bolt. Great. Is that is that gonna be replaced or no? No. This is what was been replaced. We just ended up repairing this part, and this is the flap. It needs to go in there, so we install the flap. What's this place called? It's called the uh, uh, Dissa. 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 Very nice. Put them okay. back together. Basically, the flap. We have to glue it together and fix it. So it's done. It's done. It took a little bit of working, but it's done. Off to our next meeting. Seven o'clock meeting in Flat Rock with Modelo Engineering. Yeah, I'm taking off my. I wish you my coat. So we fixed Tim's B and W. It was that I still can't pronounce it. Basically, it's a flop in the intake manifold, controls the air by the valve. So we replaced it, broke it, fixed it, and replaced it. So that's that. And now we're like once again out to want to grab me a Red Bull and taking off to Flat Rock, Michigan. It's about a half an hour drive. So it's my what fourth meeting for today, but everything's turning out great. And once again, I had an awesome time helping Tim uh, with his BMW. It was fun. It was just awesome to, to help somebody out. It was great. Tomorrow morning, we're going to be filming the emission test on, uh, in the official DinoCell. We're going to do all the emission testings for CARB and EPA. So that's exciting. What an awesome day. I'm on my way right now to pick up alternative fuel control modules from Badilla Engineering. So we're going to his, to his uh, facility. He's driving ahead of me and I'm following him. This is Flat Rock, Michigan. So we're almost done. Just got to load 100 units. And this, this truck this is my third vehicle that I'm driving today. This is the F-150. 2015 development vehicle. So this is a truck I'll be driving back to North Carolina. We'll get a good look at it tomorrow. I got about $50,000 worth of controllers in my car right now. Hope nobody heard that. Hope nobody heard that. Oh yeah, by the way, it's snowing now. It's snowing in Michigan. So uh, I need to restack these controllers and cover them overnight. So that's what we're about to do. I'll take these headphones out of my ears because I can't hear myself speak. So, all right, let's start stacking. Let's see what I'm going to do this. It's snowing. It was 60 degrees this morning. Now it's snowing. It snow everywhere. All right. Okay. Now I'm going inside. Well, you know. Viewers, subscribe to my channel to see more of awesomeness. <laughs> You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter.